In a Libre design, you can revolve a sketch profile about an axis or an edge to create a 3D feature. To illustrate this, I'm going to create a new sketch on the XY plane. To begin with, I'm going to sketch an arc. Like nearly every feature creation tool, when using the Revolve Boss tool, you need to make sure that your profile is a closed profile. So I'll first sketch the arc and then make the endpoints coincident with the Y axis. And then I'm going to dimension the arc size to size it appropriately. Here I'm going to enter in a radius of 2.5 inches. To close the profile, I'm going to sketch a line to connect the open endpoints. So now I have a closed profile that I can use for the Revolve Boss tool. I'm going to toggle the 2D sketch tool to get out of sketch mode. I can still see the profile of the sketch that I'm going to revolve. And so to revolve the sketch, I need to select the Revolve Boss tool from the Part Modeling toolbar, and the Revolve Boss dialog appears. Sketch 1 already populates the Sketch to Revolve field. If it didn't, I would need to click in the Sketch to Revolve field to activate it, and then select the sketch from the Work Area or the Design Explorer. Next, I need to specify the axis of revolution. So again, I can specify an axis or a sketch line from the sketch itself. In this case, I will select the Y axis, and you can select the axis from the Design Explorer or in the Work Area. The Y axis now populates in the Axis field. After I specify an axis, the feature is previewed in the Work Area, as you can see here. Before I click OK, I'm going to demonstrate that you can select the sketch line as your axis of rotation as well. Here I'm going to click on the Axis field again to activate it, and then select the vertical sketch line that I used to close my sketch previously. And next I can edit the angle of the revolution for this feature. And now I'm going to click OK and the feature is created. In the next example, I'm going to create O-ring type geometry by revolving a circular profile around an axis. So I activate 2D Sketch on the XY plane. And now I'm going to sketch a small circle and then add a dimension. In this case, I'm going to make the diameter 0.375 inches. At this point, I can go directly to the Part Modeling Toolbar and select the Revolve Boss tool. So when I do this, the sketch automatically populates the Sketch to Revolve field. And the only remaining step that I have left is to specify an axis of rotation. Click in the Axis field to activate it. And then I can select the axis from the work area or from the Design Explorer. And then I click OK. So now that circular profile has been revolved 360 degrees about the Y axis to generate the 3D geometry. I'm going to move on to the Revolve Cut tool now, which operates exactly like the Revolve Boss feature tool does but removes material from the model as I revolve the profile around an axis. I selected the XY plane as the working plane, and I've activated 2D Sketch. Now I'm going to use the Project to Sketch tool to create a reference figure in my sketch from a previous sketch. Now I can sketch a circle by referencing this new reference line that I've just inserted. So I place the center of the circle coincident to the reference line. And then I'll add a diameter dimension to the circle. I'll make this circle 0.5 inches in diameter. I'll also place a distance dimension from the y-axis to the center point of the circle and make this distance 3 inches. I'll remove the portion of the circle that I don't need by zooming in on this area, and then I'll sketch a line across the center of the circle,
and trim away the portion that I don't want using the trim tool. Now I have the profile I want to revolve, which will cut away material from the solid body as I revolve it. So I've exited sketch mode, and now I'll select the Revolve Cut tool. So I select the tool, and the Revolve Cut dialog appears. Sketch 2, which is the sketch I just created, is already populating the Sketch to Revolve field. And now I need to sketch the axis of revolution. Again, I can make this selection from the Design Explorer or from the Work Area. I select the Y axis, and the preview of the feature is now displayed. And now I can click OK to generate the feature. So as you can see, I've revolved this profile 360 degrees about the Y axis, and the corresponding material has been removed. Then I can highlight the resulting face by moving the cursor over it and selecting it. 